Hi you guys and welcome back to our channel. I have a quick, and it's not that quick. I have a, a, what is this called, a grocery haul. I have not done a grocery haul in a really long time. It is the start of summer. This coming week will be um, our first full summer break week. Uh, the kids last day was on, oh my goodness, Thursday? Yes, Thursday of last week. So um, it's Sunday, I figured let me go do a little bit of grocery shopping for the week. I must mention that we are gonna try really hard, Ruben and I are gonna try really hard to um, try to eat healthier and not only that, but give better, healthier options for our kids. So, um, I'm going to show you what we got. If you have tips on healthy snacks that are good tasting and good priced, um, let me know in the comments down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm just going to get on with the haul, but we're really going to try to, like I said, try to get just better food choices in the house. So with that said, I am going to show you guys what we got. Okay, so we're gonna start over here. I got this five pound bag of chicken tenders. Um, I thought they'd be super easy and convenient to just bake or kind of grill outside. Um, we can even bread them with almond, uh, I don't know, Ruben has some almond flour or something. Uh, so I got the five pound bag. And then Ruben has been doing this really delicious uh, baked chicken. Uh, he got the recipe from I don't know where, but it's really good. He adds, babe, what do you add to it? Almond what? Babe? Anyways, he's not answering me. Um, so I got some chicken drumsticks because that's what he asked for, but this bag, you guys, was only $5. So, and it's a 10 pound bag. So anyways, that was a pretty good buy. And then I got, for convenience, I got some grilled chicken. So if you've seen any of our other hauls um, for snacks or lunch, I usually get like chicken nuggets or chicken tenders, like even the, the Tyson, but the one that is breaded, like the dinosaurs and fun stuff like that. I've even gone to Sam's and gotten really good. They're very good tasting Southern style, like chicken tenders or something. But again, we're gonna try really hard and just make this the only option that you have um, and not have any kind of like breaded chicken. So I got this. I got this for breakfast. The kids can have this with some eggs. Um, obviously, probably not the healthiest choice, but I don't wanna have to cook bacon and the house smell like bacon for days. So I got this convenient pack of um, sausage. And then I got the variety pack of string cheese. So it has the white, the mozzarella string cheese and then uh, the swirls and you guys can read. So I got that. And then, um, so Evan is huge. Uh, and this probably contradicts what I just told you guys about healthy options and stuff, but Evan sometimes, you know what, he's the smallest one uh, in the house and so we give in to him and he's very picky. So he is obsessed with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So we needed more Hello. jelly. Hi, there's the Evan. So we got him some jelly that we needed to replace. Uh, and this is also a quick snack for the older kids as well. Uh, and then we got some of this because Evan was with me and he wanted it. So they can, I can limit them to like a small cup of milk um, once a day, whatever. I got some sweet cream. Um, Christopher and Isabella, my two teenagers, I have three, but two of the teenagers, have really gotten to drink coffee. Uh, and so I got them some sweet cream. And then I got myself some of this um, heavy whipping cream. We needed milk, so I got two gallons of milk. And then I have bought some sugar-free Jello. With the Jello, I add this uh, topping on it. This was only 82 cents, you guys, at HEB, so I got this. Um, and then these were a dollar fifty-seven, a dollar fifty, at HEB right now. So I got three packs of the strawberries. Uh, and then I got this big bag, semi-big, uh, three-pound bag of oranges. I got some cuties because those are always, always a super great snack. The little kids go out into the pool outside and I can just kind of take one out and they can snack on it. Um, I got some carrots, carrots for us to snack on. Um, Sophia really likes these like without ranch or anything so I wanted to make this an option for her. And then I got this for another snack as well, just some convenient already cut broccoli. We needed bananas, so I got, we had those already, so I got some bananas. Um, what else, let's see. Shredded cheese is always good to have on hand for 
quesadillas. We have some tortilla chips that we haven't opened. So I got the big bag of the shredded cheese. Uh, we got some ground beef. Where, where is the ground beef? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Um, we're probably going to make bur burgers maybe today or tomorrow. And so I got the 100 whole wheat. I got the whole wheat um, buns. We never get the whole wheat buns, but it's a small step. And so I figured this is better than the white. But then I got two loaves of white bread again. This is just for like super quick sandwiches um, and Evan's peanut butter and jellies. Okay. And then I got some lightly salted peanuts for a snack. And then I went to the deli and I got some turkey. I was very impressed with the $3.97 price for one pound of mesquite smoked turkey. But I kind of looked at it in the store and it, it just doesn't look... It looks highly processed. Or, which might be why it was so cheap. Oh, it looks fine. Never mind. What am I saying? Let me taste it. Yeah, it's good, but I probably will maybe splurge the next time and get one that's like $6 a pound. It's okay. Anyways, and so I got a whole pound of pepperoni and a whole pound of um, hard salami. Those are the kids' favorites. All five kids love lunch meat and then these convenient, um, you know, you, they can either snack on them or make sandwiches. So got those. The peaches right now are like 80 something cents at HEB and they are really good. I always hate to buy something and then we buy it into them at home and they're not good. So the H the peaches right now at HEB are really good. So if you guys have an HEB, definitely get them. Oh, yeah. I got some pretzels for a quick crunchy chip snack. Uh, let's see. And then I got some sliced cheese for our burgers. That sounds yummy. Yeah, as well as sandwiches. And then I got these to snack on. Um, so we're, I mean, we, I li I'd like to have options for the kids. Of course, they're home for summer. Um, they don't really eat the snacks inside the house. Again, we've really, really implemented that room and it's kind of stuck. But again, if they're out in the pool or, you know, we want to go somewhere um, or just have like a stinking snack here that you can open up, you know, uh, because I didn't buy chips and I think chips are like a, just a, bad convenient snack so i anyways you guys long story i got these i've never tried them before i don't know if they taste good um so we're gonna try them there's only five they weren't cheap but i would rather really limit my kids to have just one a day knowing the price um and know that they're getting a semi-healthy whole grain snack than you know, I don't know, like a granola bar or a pop, pop tart. So anyways, so I got these, we'll see. Um, got a bag of limes. Uh, limes are always good to like squeeze on chicken or meat or even cucumbers. We got a few cu cucumbers. We have some more in the, in the fridge, uh, but so we got cucumbers, but limes and lemons are always just so good to add just that spunk of, of flavor and taste. So got limes and then Ruben and I um if you've seen our other home vlogs uh we do our shakes and so I thought I'd change it up so we got large large curd and small curd cottage cheese we stick those in our protein shakes and then I got some um corn because my older kids like that cup in a corn or that Mexican corn or street corn whatever you want to call it where you put like mayonnaise or some kind of cream in there um, and then some kind of like Parmesan or Lucas. So I got this for either like a side for dinner or th the kids can make their little corn in a cup. Um, and then for cereal. So cereal is really, really big for us here. We always have at least three kinds of cereals in the house, yeah. but these are the kinds I'm not gonna lie. We always get Fruit Loops. We get um, Frosted Flakes. And we'll get like shredded wheat or some other kind of really highly sugary cereal. So it just and, and I can't I can't be healthy but feed my kids Fruit Loops for cere for for breakfast. And cereal is convenient for us. You're hungry, have a bowl of cereal. So I looked online for the healthiest um, kid friendly tasting 
cereals and Cheerios by far was always at the very, very top of the list. The older kids know I have two teenage girls. They're all about, you know, their health and their weight and stuff like that. So I'm not really talking about them, but my concern is the two little kids. Um, I can almost guarantee that they're probably not going to like this straight out of the box with milk. So I will probably either add some strawberries in it. They've never had cereal with fruit, but we're, we're, we're going to make steps and we're going to go slowly. Um, or I'll put some sliced bananas in there. So I got this big box of Cheerios and I also got this oh so original special K. This is not my favorite kind of cereal, but I'm going to try too. So whenever I want a quick sweet snack, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. You guys, we're going to do it. Yes, baby. Can you, can you help me uh, do my snack? Okay. And then going again with our, our snack healthy option, we're definitely just going to try this. I've never bought the whole grain mac and cheese. Evan and Sophia really, really love macaroni and cheese for like a quick lunch. Um, and so let me see what this tastes like. I hope it's good. I hope they like it uh, because if they do, then we'll continue to buy this for sure. And then we can also do this for a side for all five kids, you know, for our dinner options. Um, and then I got some of this. This is, this was only $6 and 36 cents, which makes me so happy. Uh, but we can do some corn tortillas with this and, um, kids can have dinner. So that's a really good price. Oh yeah, and then this, HEB was having a buy one, get one free kind of local deal is what they call it. Um, and so you bought this, 636, and then you would get their mesquite um, sausage for free. So I got this. Ruben and I have been having tuna for lunch. He takes this for lunch at work. And so we got the big um, packs of tuna. So we got two of those. We got some ground ground beef for our burgers. And then I got two bags of beans. I was in the bean aisle. Um, and these are only 98 cents, I think, at HEB. So um, they're good, they're convenient, and they can make a quick meal for my kids. Um, we are a huge popcorn loving family. So I got a box of popcorn for like movie time. And yeah, we didn't have any. So this was my splurge for today. I This was on sale for like $2 and it's super tiny, but I'm all about blueberry, anything blueberry. Oh my gosh, and it's vanilla. So some goat cheese with blueberry. I can't wait to dig into this. Um, and I got some of these crackers to go with it. And I think that's it. Okay, you guys, that's it for my haul. Super quick, um, you know, we're, we're all gonna make baby steps, right? Cause that's how hopefully we can stay, be successful in eating um, healthier foods. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. Again, if you have any suggestions for healthy snacks or anything of the sort, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.